guys and welcome to another episode of the Jushi Commentary, your go-to place for anime, manga, family, facts, recommendations, and reviews, all done by yours truly. So today I want to go into a big, big yaoi manga update. This is huge. It's extremely huge because of the fact that there, a lot of these manga that have been updated from the yaoi genre have been on hiatus for quite a while now. So without further ado, let's go into some of these cool yaoi mangas that have actually been updated. And they're not just some holder chapter that's just barely keeping the story together. There's actually like a plot to some of these. So without further ado, let's get grooving humans! So one of the first manga that have updated recently is the Papyrus manga, which is more familiar and the most common one. Um, I'm not sure if this manga actually has been updated on other sites, but I'm going by what my Manga Rock app, which if you like to keep up with manga and you really want to read some of these manga on the go, I recommend getting it. I've been using it for about six years and it's a pretty good app. And it works for the Apple and uh, Google Play Store. So your Androids and tablets and your iPhones and iPads and iPods can have all the lovely Yaoi manga that you can have on different manga sites. And they update pretty frequently. They update within one to two days of the official site updating, if not before. So those are actually good. So the first one and most common one is Papyrus. Not gonna get too much into this chapter. It's pretty much kind of the chapter that goes highlighting the next story. If any of you aren't familiar with how the story Papyrus goes, it's basically a succubus like Bara Demon who goes around uh, basically fucking every single person that he encounters, or at least the men. And he gets into different scenarios where he ends up having sexual relations in his human form with it. Did I say so? Succubus. In the beginning, I meant Incubus. The next one I want to go into is Inheritance of Aroma, which is actually pretty surprising considering the sort of satisfying, bittersweet end that it had. And I don't mean as in satisfying as in, oh yeah, it was a pretty good ending. I mean, the ending was solid. Whether or not you like the ending, I would see for myself when you actually read, which will be linked in the description down below, as all these titles will that I'm listing for updates, so you don't have to go searching for it. Um, in these, uh, for those who don't use the map, the actual app. And in the, in this actual, it's a side story called Atem, and it basically hides the son and nephew, I know it sounds really weird, of the, the son and uh, nephew of the protagonist. Um, he is both. <laughs> he is actually, uh, it shows him, uh, doing, repeating what his father's actions are. So it's basically like a side story where he's basically doing what his father's doing and that's really all I can give you without completely bombarding and spoiling it for you. And this is an update so I actually want you to go out and read it for yourself. Um, and it's really good. It's, it does it kind of even just grabs you in in a way. Um, personally after I read it it was like oh and then especially when you see at the end of the side chapter um, what happens then it kind of just grabs you in and it's like will there be a sequel oh what's going on will the story continue so definitely a great work of Nakamura Asumiko and definitely her uh, typical uh, in her each chapters that she does in each issue giving you that grabbing at the edge of your seat kind of feel that's like yeah, we're getting more is this the end I love the kind of flip-flop suspense she gives so I recommend getting that which will be linked down in the description below or it can be linked right here if you click on this box of the wonderfulness Nakamura Atsumiko, there is also another update linked under her name. This woman is just going and going and going. Highlighting her anniversary, uh, which would be about going on, will be now 10 years of Dokuse and um, the other title Sora Tahara, which is also sort of like a sequel to the Dusuke franchise and the Soisuke and the others, which Occupation to be beloved or beloved occupation, as some may call it, is sort of like a side story where it sort of covers after Dokusei and Sora Tahara, which is when 
everyone's graduated. He's uh, the counselor who was in Dosuke and who's main, the main character of Sora Tahara is actually sort of moving on with his next step in his life. And I don't want to spoil too much for you, but that's basically what this is. And I do recommend you reading Blake Duk Yusei and Sora Tahara before you get into Occupation to, beloved, to be beloved or too beloved. And I want this actual, but if you have, if you are, if you are cut up, I do recommend you going into this one, this chapter which is updated and reading this manga. And in this chapter, it's basically a discussion between Kusakabe, who is the, if you don't remember, is the blonde haired Seme in uh, Dosuke in the film, if you will recognize him in the manga, and the counselor who was in the Dosuke film, and Sora Tahara is the main. Uh, protagonist, as I said before, and basically they have a conversation as usual on top of their beloved roof as they take a smoke, and some things kind of come up, and you start to get the counselor's actual emotions toward his sort of new life with his new love, and who that is, you have to read Sora Tahara to know, and I do recommend because it's so sweet. But in this chapter, it's kind of that, and it just gives you sort of a quirky, fun feel. It's a little bit of an addition but at the same time it's kind of stagnant, which I kind of understand because she kind of went all out with Inheritance of Aroma side chapter. So I will give her a little bit of the death. The next one we have on our list is everyone's, also everyone's amazing and favorite, most memorable, Your Love is My Prize and Viewfinder by Amani Yamano. And basically it is uh, this story or chapter in the story is kind of like her, um, side stories of the Pink Gold series are basically- I don't want to give away, without giving away too much, it's basically a- gives you insight on when Akito's birthday is, or at least how Akiko Tabaka and Asami Ririchi celebrate Tabaka's birthday. So, kind of get a fun, quirky side story from all the serious and FBI and gangsters and yakuza kind of stuff that's been going on so far if you follow the manga and if you haven't i recommend you read it and where have you been if you are a yaoi fan this is like one of the top yaoi out there to read but that is actually kind of like a side story it's actually kind of putting a light twist to the sort of serious notes that's been going on currently in the manga and i recommend you go check it out as it will be linked in the description below or under right here in this box where my hand is waving and our final update which i wouldn't consider it to be the least important one which actually i had it last because it is the most important one i want to say because it has the longest hiatus which has been about i want to say five years uh, excluding the chapter that came out i want to say a year or two before this year but almost anticipated chapter updates yet yeah, and hiatus was she dead do we know what's going on and miss taraco has made finally an updated chapter of sex pistols or love pistols whichever you identify with first finally with the story progression between Norio and Bardone. are you kidding me and this one i promise you does not disappoint but it will probably leave you in a what more cliffhanger it's actually progressing we're not at that weird side story with one of the Mardame family members. We are not at that weird side story for those who have read it. For those who haven't, you also have been living under a rock again. This is one of the most popular ones, even if you may not particularly like it. But this chapter is highlighting Norino, Mardame, and all of the other main cast. Shiro, all of the main cast now. And it's highlighting their steps going forward particularly Norino and Martha May's relationship, and this is actually going to be a huge step into the love pistols genre, which makes me happy and sad for very reasons, various varieties of reasons. One, because we know that the mangaka isn't dead, as a lot of people started to assume that with the fact that she hasn't updated in over five years. I counted five, at least five years. Then the fact that she's already starting it up, her art has significantly improved and 
it's a lot more sleeker and prettier. Norio is actually becoming more feminine, like the features that he was going to portray based on the hormones or whatnot. You can totally see that progression going in. It's not like a creepy progression, kind of like not knock and miss, Naki Murakami, but that weird Shotokan regression where he got younger. Now it actually seems more sleek and pretty though. So that is really, really taking off. And the fact that she didn't just start off with this chapter update, she made it so right when you were about to get the answer to this in the chapter update, not giving away too much, she ha stops it at a cliffhanger so it keeps you interested and keeps your hopes up. Like, I see you guys. I see you. I see you. I have this chapter, but it's cliffhanger because guess what? I'm back, bitches. That's basically what I feel. And I recommend you guys going to read it. Also be in the link in the description down below or right here in this nice box. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more Yaoi manga updates to keep posted and things like that, I do recommend you guys stay in the know because it will get awesome. And I try to do videos like this when I find and come across uh, manga that have updated. If you guys want me to do Dojushin or newer manga in the Omegaverse sort of thing, because I am a fan of Mpreg and Omegaverse, let me know down in the comments what you guys want and if you like update videos like these please let me know and I will surely most certainly get on that for you but until next time guys peace love and stay grooving humans bye